Assalamu alaikum. Invite endless blessings into your home. Please subscribe now. The button below. And always a reminder for myself, Ana Abdul Qad Ajisu Da'ifu Miskeen Uzalim Wa Jahal. And but for the grace of Allah that we are still in existence. InshaAllah we have uh, interactive every night it seems like. <laughs> so alhamdulillah if there, if there are questions related to what we've been teaching then alhamdulillah and the importance of tafakkur and, and connecting your heart and learning the process of connecting the heart. Learning the reality of wudu, how to keep your wudu, how to keep your energy in these days of difficulty even more important on how to keep the foundation is how to keep the wudu, how to understand the energy, how to build the positive energy and then how to make the connection and connecting one's heart and keeping the madad of the shaykhs and their nazar upon us and that we want their attention. And their attention is not just by keep emailing that keep, uh, keep your nazar upon us but do something in the way. Be of service, give charity, do good deeds, the same that the shaykh is doing. The shaykh is not just asking Prophet and, and his shaykhs that just keep your nazar upon us but it's through our good deeds and our actions that we do brings the nazar. So this mafil, this gathering for the praise and the love of Allah and His beloved Sayyidina Muhammad bringing this together gets the nazar of Sayyidina Muhammad Not just by saying, keep your nazar upon me but by an action. And it's not easy to keep a center going and to keep people coming and to keep people interested and to have cameras and, and video connections. So it's all of that and those actions and, and those sacrifices that people make that gains the nazar of Sayyidina Muhammad inshaAllah by good deeds. That the nazar according to how much they're in need. And when they say that they're coming to the fountains of Kawthar and taking from the hand of Sayyidina Muhammad some take by spoon, by, by little cup, some take by rivers and oceans, meaning depending upon how much they're in need and how much they're trying to reach to the nation of Sayyidina Muhammad That will determine how much of that rahmah, how much of that faiz is coming back and dressing upon that shaykh and their students. How much they are reaching out, how much they're trying to help, how much they're trying to spread knowledges, how much they're trying to be of benefit to the ummah of Sayyidina Muhammad in the correct aqeedah they are, who are benefiting something else. But in this correct aqeedah of the way and muhabbat of love of Sayyidina Muhammad that teaches how to keep that nazar and how to, how to do beneficial deeds that gain their satisfaction, their rida and satisfaction. Now coming into the month of Milad al Nabi two months away inshaAllah and we pray that Allah keeps us alive to see that day and to see its benefits and to raise the magnificent status of the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad on this earth and on this abode. Whether we're able to do the Mawlid live or to, to do a live event or by broadcast and by, by propagation through the internet, alhamdulillah that Allah whatever means Allah gives to us that we try to use that in which to fulfill our obligations and our way of muhabbat and love inshaAllah. Any questions for tonight before we… Uh, um, As long as Sayyidi, forgive my ignorance, okay. since Muharram is the month of self-sacrifice, how can one make a distinction when to stand up for something right, truth, like Imam Hussain, and when to stay silent and be patient? Ya Allahumma salli wa sallim wa barak alayhi wa ali. There was a phase in which the Prophet described that if there's a harm in the way that to, to move it by your hand 
And if you can't remove it by your hand, I think we talked the other night about that, then to remove it by your words and if that didn't work then to make du'a. Means there was a point in the nation which they could uh, have the strength in which to remove difficulties by their hand and stand up against oppression. Then they fell into difficulty and they entered into the phase in which to remove difficulty through writing and asking and pleading. And now the phase of the nation is that the oppression is so heavy and so hard it's best to remove only through the heart that just make du'a so that uh, no difficulty comes to you directly. So there's so much injustice in the world that it's not a time in which to go out and try to change it because that's not what's going to change anything right now. And the only changing of injustice is then through du'a and through the heart and connecting and communicating. That's why it's so important to learn the way of the heart. Means the struggle that was external before, then the struggle became through writing and communicating and now the struggle is, is through the heart. How to open the heart, how to open the connection within the heart and to save oneself from internal oppression and external oppression inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh Ya Sayyidi. Um, wa Alaikum As Salaam wa Rahmatullahi Question, what adabs and zikr should one follow while cooking food according to tariqah to attract more blessings and positive energy? InshaAllah keeping yourself in, in wudu, making the du'as that are on the app for food, making salawats during the whole process. It's important to keep the wudu when you're cooking and preparing food for people so that uh, the energy that you're putting into it is a pure and clean energy. And that the times of making your salawats and putting the light and the energy of the salawat upon the food so that to bring that immense ni'mat upon everything that we eat and we drink inshaAllah. <clears throat> Sayyidi, how to dive deeper into the oceans of reality to find our gifts that Allah has given us? InshaAllah this is the way of the tafakkur, the only way to reach deep into realities is to reach into the heart. That the realities that people are looking for, they're not on the, the shore of the ocean but they're in the pearls and corals that Mawlana Shaykh would always talk in all the books of Mawlana Shaykh were called pearls and corals. Because the ocean of reality requires the diver, not what washed up onto the shore for everybody to take. But those whom are diving deep within that ocean of reality and receiving from that immense blessing. One of the secrets of Naqshbandiya and the reality of when Prophet described that the real ulama of my nation, they are the inheritors of prophecy of Bani Israel. Means it's such a deep reality and because in Malakut there's no time and only on this mulk there's time. One of the realities of Mawlana Shah Naqshband that was described when Sayyidina Yunus had a light but not a strong enough light to reach his people for dawah. That he had a, a nur but not yet opened the reality of his nar, of his, of his heart. He was more of a reflective light and not the light that he needed to not only reach his nation but to affect a change within the reality of his nation. And the story that told in Qur'an that he ran away because they're not listening, they're not changing and he went into the area of a water 
And when he ran away, he went on a ship. And as soon as he went on the ship, a storm came. And they said, oh, somebody must be unfavored on this ship because all of a sudden we have a storm. And they got Sayyidina Yunus and threw him overboard. As the story of pulling the, 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 the sticks. And however it ended, it ended with Sayyidina Yunus and they threw him over the board thinking that God must be angered by him which in reality is that he ran from his da'wah, he ran from his, his mission from Allah and there's no running from Allah And it's haqqaiq is that Allah wanted to perfect the light of his reality and he was cast into an ocean of realities. And in that story that a whale came and a whale came and devoured him and put him within his belly. And only Allah come and teach the whale of that reality was Mawlana Shah Naqshband. That Mawlana Shah Naqshband's reality had come when Allah threw him into the oceans of reality and that Mawlana Shah Naqshband came to perfect his light and to perfect the reality of his da'wah, perfect the reality of his soul and brought him into this soul because the soul is like a fish. So when they describe fishes and, and oceans because the ocean is the ocean of Allah's reality and the soul is like a fish that just consuming the ocean without even thinking. And these awliyaullah big, huge awliyaullah they are like the, the pillars of all sainthood. They're like whales, hoot. They're the huge in Allah's oceans of reality and their mission is an eternal mission from beginning of time to the end of time. When they manifested on this dunya is irrelevant but they have always been of a saintly nature. And Allah has always used them throughout the history of mankind. And for Sayyidina Yunus that was in the reality of Mawlana Shah Naqshband to perfect his two lights. To perfect the light of insan that to dress him from his reality of his son and to make his nar and his fire to be perfected as a result of his internal flame and internal fire, the sun of his perfection. Then when the sun of perfection which is the qalb is perfected, the nur that emits from the face and the head will become qamarun. Means that's the reality of the sun which is on the heart and the moon that is represented through the face. Means if it's just a, a little bit of light coming from the face is one thing but when the light of perfection within the heart is perfected and the reality of the, the two noons of insan are ignited, that the sun of his heart is ignited, it's burning, it's consuming the, the waste and the difficulties, the burdens as reflecting the light that emits from his face and then his face becomes like a full moon shining from the lights and the result of what's within the heart of that insan. And that was the reality that Mawlana Shah Naqshband was bringing to Sayyidina Yunus Zul Noon, the two noons that when he was before at the beginning of prophecy he was Sayyidina Yunus. By the time he went into the ocean of reality and brought into the, the soul of Mawlana Shah Naqshband he was cast out and brought up upon the shore as Zul Noon, the one whom has the two lights of his insan has been ignited. That his nar and his fire, his sun is burning within his heart and then the nur that reflects upon his face is, is now reflecting. And those are the lights of guidance. Without those two lights being ignited you just entertain people. Because what comes from you is just entertaining but there must be an internal reality
that draws them and cleans them and perfects their character and their soul. And as a result of that cleansing then those students become pure and purified. So alhamdulillah that Allah gave us to be under this flag of reality and to be raised under the feet of Mawlana Shah Naqshband and that was the importance of of remembering uh, his holy birthday and all our events under the name of Naqshbandiya and all the, the love and the immense reality that Allah is dressing this nation with what He's given to the nation, to the Sahabi, to the Ahlul Bayt and to the awliyaullah that are the guardians of the nation inshaAllah. Sayyidi, is head covering all the time a sunnah at night also? What are its hidden realities? What is what? Is head covering all the time a sunnah at night also? What are its hidden realities? Yeah, the covering of your head at night and is a sunnah to keep your head covered at all times is a sunnah but more important in its understanding of energy. That if you're an energy being and your energy is continuously escaping then negative energy is trying to come towards you, come onto your head, come onto your back to take from your energy. So it's not only the energy you build but how much energy are you trying to protect and safeguard. Nighttime is a big time of difficulty, that's why all of the dreams and attacks and, and sleep difficulties that come for people. So that's why they teach us and the, the sunnah of sleeping and keeping uh, washing, making your wudu, pray your salatul wudu, read the, the surahs that you're supposed to read or four falak, three uh, nas, two ikhlas and make and blow upon yourself from those surahs and then sleeping and keeping yourself covered during your sleep because that's a time in which immense amounts of difficulty are coming and trying to attack insan and to, to, to come onto the energy of insan. So we have that in, in the discussions of energy and in the videos for the sunnah and the holy sunnah and the, the, what Prophet brought for us of, of energy understandings of the sunnah inshaAllah and the immense importance of it. But Allah bless you, dress you and uh, forgive me and inshaAllah we, we try to be uh, there for tomorrow night and Saturday night and inshaAllah please uh, support the center and in these months as we get ready for Mawlid the Nabi that Allah give us a, a protection Amen. and protection comes through the, the good deeds, being active, trying to do the most that we can, propagate whatever we can, spread the knowledge of the love of Sayyidina Muhammad inshaAllah to live a life of service inshaAllah. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzati amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen wa hamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al Fatiha. Click the link now to subscribe.